So here's an update of the car. I pretty much got everything I wanted put onto the car. It has a supercharger, I got tuned, and then it was running into uh, some fueling problems. I got suspension put on it, Frodo brake pads, and then Skunk 2 headers, and then gritty full exhaust. And I, I draw back to, uh, to the exhaust as you kind of smell it when, when you're getting into the car. Sometimes it seeps in because I have a soft top, so I'm not sure how I will get around that. I mean, it, it's kind of a trade-off. Everything on this car is a trade-off because I, I lost my cruise control. Uh, my MPGs went down. Obviously, I'm, I'm not babying the car. I went from 35 spirit to driving, naturally aspirated, down to it could be 20 with a supercharger. And then uh, they were trying to diagnose the problem, and then um, I got my spark plugs changed, and then they said that they wanted to put a tighter gap on it, and then also my O2 sensor got swapped out, and the fuel problem, it kind of got better, and it's not as noticeable, but it, it's still there, it's still very subtle, and I'm probably going to bring it in on Monday to, to have them look at it again. I'm not sure if they can solve it, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. So the the RPM is set to 7,300 based off of the dyno chart that they gave me and I'm not sure what kind of dyno it is. It's, it's one of the dynos where your rear wheels get taken off and then they hook it up to a machine and then they run it. So I put out about 200, pretty standard for the Autobot and it was 175 torque. I upgraded the rear wheels to uh, 225, 45, 17 for Michelin Pilot Sport S4. And it's on a stock BBS rim, seven inches. And initially I wasn't gonna get suspension or brakes or anything like that. I was only gonna get the supercharger, but I noticed that when you add power, the, the rear kind of felt really, really sloppy. When, when you're doing hard pulls on the highway, it's just uh, my confidence wasn't there when I was doing those kinds of speeds. So I, I pretty much put I put maybe 37 to around 40 psi into the rear tire to stiffen it up, and probably not the safest thing to do, but everything's a trade-off in this car, and the the Olin suspension is pretty good it, it's pretty tight it's not unbearably tight but it, it's way better than the the stock club suspension and they got dropped too it looks good but it's kind of a pain to drive that car around because now you have to be pretty aware of you know coming out of driveways and on backing into things stuff like that and uh, the fronts i'm still running on uh, 205s and the, the tires hold pretty good compared to the stock Bridgestone Potenza tires that I got. I actually like the, the stock tires that came onto this car because they, they, held, they held traction decent in my opinion for a stock setup. They lasted a long time. I had uh, 31,000 miles on, that, on those tires and I'm pretty sure I could have kept on going but I drove this car up to Alaska and I didn't want to drive the car up there with a, you know, semi ball tires. So I made the switch. And, and in my opinion for, for this car, if you didn't have the money to do any modifications, then it would be okay. It's still a fun car to drive around. It's relatively cheap. But the, the two things that I needed were, were a short shifter and a steering wheel because those things really bothered me. But other than that, the, the car was, uh, it, it's pretty fun to drive around and everybody complained about the, the soft suspension in the back, but for, for the club setup, it was pretty fun. But if, if you go the modification route, just keep in mind that when, when you add more, when you change one thing and then you have to change all this other stuff to compensate for the way it's going to handle. And I would say that the, the upgrades of if you could do the work yourself, you probably save maybe five thousand dollars worth of labor, but it probably cost me 
just say for example it cost me 15 and is it worth it at the end of the day it's worth it to me because I, I had the opportunity to do it and I think that it makes the, the car more fun and your limits get changed because I, I think the, the this car stock kind of didn't have that much power and it's kind of reminds me of a, a 250cc bike where you could you could max it out and and you can learn how to drive on it versus uh, now it's, it's different because I think that there's a, a lot more power and I, I doubt my skill is at, at the level of where you can max it out I haven't I haven't tracked it for real yet and that's one thing that I want to do in the future so I'm, I'll keep you guys updated on that Dude, this car always makes me smile because it's so fun to drive around and it's a basic car it, it doesn't have a lot of features on it like the adaptive boost control and all the, the crazy electronics that other kind of cars have and uh, the, the heating and controls they're basic and, and I actually like that because in my 2009 Mazda Speed 3 I had like the dual climate controller whatever the, the auto adjust and I actually broke I, I bought it broke I got a fix and then it broke again and then I just had the vent set to the window because the main purpose of that was to defog my uh, my window.